Hey, Star Wars fans. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having a fantastic week so far. I just wanted to do a little bit of a video just recounting the events of the last weekend. Um, I was able to go to Supernova Comic Con and uh, Gaming Expo. It was a lot of fun. I was, it's not, not my first radio. I've been, definitely been to a few over the years. And uh, yeah, I think this one was definitely my favourite. Um, I only went on the Saturday. It was over Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and yeah, it was my birthday on Saturday as well, so it made for made for a really great day. I was able to finally um, debut my my own Mandalorian armor. So for those who haven't seen, I've uh, you know I sort of did my own Mandalorian costume. Um, and there's there's some things I want to fix and and evolve, but it's a you know it's a growing growing thing. But this is my helmet that I wore, and the armor pretty much goes along with it. So this is just a Black Series uh, Din Djarin helmet, which I sort of, which I repainted, and uh, yeah, I, it, it was nice to get out in in public and um, and rock the costume for for about an hour or so. It was sweaty business though; <laughs> it was really sweaty business, but so worth it. Um, so yeah, just a few things. Uh, I thought I'd share some gifts as well that I got for my birthday. Um, I some of them I bought myself. <laughs> um, yeah, but I got the new new Deadpool from Deadpool and Wolverine, uh, Marvel Legends. Yeah, very limited with Marvel Legends these days. I only pick them up very sporadically. And uh, I think I'll get the Wolverine to go with him, and that'll, that'll just about do what I think. Um, I did get a couple of, of these guys, which I have reviewed. So I do have a review. I've got a couple of these now. So I... Spoke in the video about how the uh, design didn't really grab me straight away, but just having these figures in hand just for a day or two um, has completely changed my my feelings towards them, and I'm very very stoked with how these guys are. Also got the uh, the Yoda and Gree two pack while I was at Supernova. That we actually had a Disney store um, booth sort of stand show show up uh, at Supernova this year, which I haven't seen before, um, and we don't have. Disney stores here in Australia are having for quite a number of years and we don't even have a, like a, a dedicated online store here in Australia. It's all shipped from um, either Asia or America or UK. But they had the uh, the Black Series Yoda and Gree 2-pack, which I've also reviewed, so go back and check that out because that was fantastic. And... Um, yeah, I sort of went with a little bit of spending money. I didn't really know what I was going to get, and the second I saw it, I thought, nah, that I've got to take that home. Um, also, just today, I had this show up. I got uh, a new helmet to the to the collection, Bo Katan. And uh, yeah, this this sort of showed up from on a on eBay through a local company that had marked it down for box damage, down to like a hundred bucks down from the RRP of like 250. So I've been after this one for a little while. I've become a big Bo-Katan fan over the last few years. So I, yeah, I definitely wanted to have this in the collection and uh, it's pretty nice. Um, very, very nice indeed. Just haven't really had a lot of time with it yet, but um, yeah, it, it's pretty cool. It's nice. So always happy to have more helmets. And the, uh, I guess the major calling card of Supernova on Saturday was Anthony Daniels came down to Australia for the first time in who knows how long. It's been a, it's been a while since I recall him being down here, if at all, um, be long before, long before this time anyway. Uh, lots of lots of great celebrities came down. Adam Savage was the other big sort of big ticket card. Um, I was able to meet David Wenham from. Uh, Lord of the Rings. He played Faramir, so I got his his autograph, and uh, that was that was fantastic. You know, I'm also a pretty big Lord of the Rings Tolkien fan, so I was very excited to uh, you know this is the first autograph I've been able to get from an actor. Um, that's the second one in my collection. I do have the signature of uh, Dino Gorman, who played uh, Killy the dwarf. No, Philly. I can never remember. I think it's Philly. Philly the Dwarf from The Hobbit. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very happy that I was able to meet David Wenham, who plays Faramir. And yeah, then I got my photo. I didn't get an autograph from Anthony Daniels. Um, just budgetary constraints mainly. Um, 
you know, had my have my time again, I would have put, budgeted a little bit more and and maybe jumped in and gone for it. But uh, yeah, at the time, you know, I I just thought, nah, a photo is more personal for me than than a signature or an autograph. I do like getting autographs from people. Um, the only autographs I'll ever have in my collection are ones that I've been able to get personally. Um, just to have that sort of personal memory. I'll never buy an autograph from someone online. Um, it's just not how I do it. It's just, you know, it's just a personal thing. So that's where I think a photograph with, with someone is far more, um, far more exciting. So there you have it. Me with Mr. Daniels. Ignore the ring light there. Fantastic. I'm really, really pumped up about that, to be honest. He was he was fantastic. You know, he was making sure everyone's photos looked good, making sure everyone was happy. Um, yeah, he looked to be having a genuinely good time. So I hope I hope he did have a great time here in Adelaide. I think it was um Yeah, it was a really good event. I had a lot of fun. I was only there for a few hours. Um but yeah, bumped into a lot of people, um, which is really cool. Um, yeah, lots of people sort of asking me where my armor was because I just sort of went in the uh, in my in my civilian outfit <laughs> to start with. Um, was there for about an hour, hour and a half, and then I went and switched out and, and got dressed up in the car park and strolled back in in my armor. I'll put some photos up um, so you can have a look through uh, just to see. I took, got a photo with a few different Mandalorians and the Mandalorian himself and Darth Vader and um, some really cool people, um, some good friends, bumped into a lot of a lot of clients from work, um, which was really, really cool. Um, and yeah, I loved just sharing the passion, passion for it with everyone and everyone's nerding out and geeking out. It was just a very happy day and it made my birthday weekend just a very memorable one. Um, but yeah, one more present I did get um, and this one you know, has a lot of, it's going to have a lot of sentimental value to it because it's very personal. Um, it's individual. This is from my mother-in-law. Um, so she made me these cushions. So like patchwork, Star Wars cushions, which have uh, taken up residence here on my, on my couch in here. But uh, yeah, she's done an amazing, amazing job. I was really blown away by these. They're so cool. Um, yeah, she said she was just down at the uh, at Spotlight, which is like a, you know, like fabric. Like, if you're in America, you probably know, like Michael's. Um, very much like that. Um, she, said, she said she found a bunch of Star Wars fabric, so snatched them up, had a good idea. And, uh, yeah, very, very impressed with how these came out. And, uh, yeah, there's the other one. So slightly different again. You know, same, same sort of fabric, but... You know, different placements of material just to make two different looking cushions. And I don't know, I kind of like that all, they're all sort of, you know, all the characters are sort of different ways around and it's the way she made them. They look either way, they look good either way sitting on the couch here. So I look forward to, you know, maybe putting the feet up one day and having a little, having a little doze off on the couch here and having a little sleep. I know they're, they're going to be super duper comfortable. Um, but yeah, again... Really good time. Uh, it was just a nice cap off to end end a week off of work. Um, it was a nice sort of rest and rejuvenation weekend um, week. And it was it was really good. And uh, yeah, now back to work, back at it for the uh, for the rest of the year. It's just going to be chaos, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. We've got some cool stuff um, coming from Kessa Run here in Collectibles that I'm looking forward to sharing. Um, I'll be putting up a video later in the week sort of going over over our new little project. Um, but yeah, come and follow uh, Kess Run Hair Collectibles on Instagram and uh, YouTube and and over on um, over on the website. Come check out the website, kessrunhair.com. Subscribe to the newsletter and you get all the updates about new pre-orders and stuff like that. So we got something really cool coming towards our, coming into our sort of 3D props, dioramas, bits and pieces like that, something we've designed from the ground up so we're very very excited to launch this thing um but yeah hope you're having a fantastic week thank you for coming in hanging out and tuning in and uh we'll see you all very soon until then may the force be with you always